In this video of uh, in the digital uh, logic series, what we're going to do is focus on the seven segment display driver. Before we talk about the display driver, let's go ahead and spend a little bit of time talking about the, this seven segment display, what it is, and uh, how and how we will use it. So a seven segment display basically picture wise looks like this, where you've got each one of these um, are single LEDs. There's an LED up here, there's an LED here, there's LED, seven of them basically around here, six around and one in the middle. That's why they're called a seven segment display because of those seven LEDs. Um, from a pin point of view, they're organized. If you look from the top down at it, uh, it um, the, the, they could have two dots. These are decimal points here and here, but uh, for most part, these are simply LEDs, A, B, C, D, E, and F refer to LEDs. They're kind of connected like this. So if I want to, for example, um, if I wanted to connect this, so I would have, let's say, a number two, which would be, um, A would be turned on, uh, B would be turned on, G would be turned on, two would be turned on, and that, and that would give me the number two. Okay, if I want to turn that on, basically take pin three and 14 that are connected together and connect them to five volts. This 1K would be good. If you want it a little bit brighter, you can make it a smaller, like 500 ohms or, or 100 ohms, really bright. Okay. And then it, it, anytime you connect one of these pins to ground, they will light up because the current will flow through it. In the case of two, I want A to be grounded and B to be grounded. So light up, A and B so far light up. Then we got to get G to light up. The middle one and then we gotta get E to line up light up and then finally we gotta get D to light up okay only F and see and of course the dots is not if you leave it you leave those pin hanging floating the current can flow through them they're not gonna light up if you ground them they light up now this is this is basically what a seven segment is display it's very useful if you want to build something really small or you're in an industrial environment um, or you want to make something really, really inexpensive, those are sometimes used uh, for those, or hobby. Um, with the advent of LCD, their, uh, their place in the business have shrunk significantly. Okay, so, so now the question is, I typically I am going to have a, some sort of a device, some uh, build something, a adder, multiplier, a gauge for my display of a device, but these devices I have, usually put out binary digits out there and it's typically called binary coded decimal for humans each digit uh, each binary digit only goes from zero to nine and so when we have four bits of binary when you have four bits of binary um, let's call it a b c and d um, uh, they okay if you, and if you go zero to nine only they're, these are called binary coded decimal. Okay, now if I wanted to take this and convert it to that, yes, I could do a true table, make a device here called the seven segment display, and I would have, and on this side I would have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. A would be connected here, B would be connected here. C would be connected and on and on. So I could do this, okay? And design this thing where I've got four inputs coming in here, A, B, C, and D. And you can kind of see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to design something that has four input and it's got seven or eight output. And I saw that right, so eight equation implement that. It's gonna be a pretty huge system. Fortunately, this piece, this piece has already been done for us, and this is this part is number 74 LS47. Now that we know what it is, let's go ahead and take a look at the data sheet and may see if, uh, if we can understand how to use this device. Fortunately, I have a 747 
um, data sheet here as before they got multiple parts in here so you got to pay attention to which one you're using we're going to focus on the one right here and this is the 74 ls 47 um, it's a dip package and it's got 16 pin ground goes to 8 vcc goes to uh, 16 and a through f is organized here uh, those are the ones that connects to the lcd and then a is the least significant bit of incoming binary value d is the next one c is the next one and b is the next one now you remember that you have to also take care of these control bits every time you have these chips they're going to have some control but in this case we have a light bi rbi not okay so let's go ahead and see if we can find a table that would tell us how to use how to use this thing here is another description of what this device potentially looks like and you can see they put not these triangles or knots which means that when you select a, a active low not high so when you activate a it's going to go low um, the nice thing is they'll take care of everything for us so we don't have to worry about it here is a table which you describe how it's going to work so basically what's going to happen is that if you were to put in a0 b0 c0 d0 all of these are input and assuming that you made sure that at least the light uh, the pin that is called lt naught has i and you made sure the pin that bi rbo is high and i would recommend go ahead and set rbi to high as well that would take care of everything being high and then this thing would be normally operating if you don't make some of those control bits high, it's just not going to operate. It's not going to do anything for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And you notice, let's let's take just just take a row here. For example, let's take the fifth row, where uh, which is a five, a is high, low high, so it's one zero one zero, which is a five. And if you look at it, a is on. C c is on um, and then d is on and then f and g is on if you draw this thing you've got a five drawn there okay so this takes care of all that middle section and you don't have to worry about it if you're wondering how much circuitry would have taken for you to do that here is here's about how much it would have taken for you to get the same thing done it's it's going to be a little bit of wiring to get that working i much rather uh, buy a 10 cents chip that does all the work for me so that's the reason the 74ls47 exists and this is how you use it